All right, I think I have one more LinkedIn lunatic. Yes, all right, here we go. Here's our next LinkedIn lunatic. So, some of you might remember this. There was this CEO of this company, it was called Gravity Payments. And this dude right here went super viral because he was like, the minimum wage at my company is 70K. And like, he like took away all of his all of his profit or whatever, and he, I guess, got super viral and went famous for this. Well, turns out he is also a, a LinkedIn influencer, and now he's a LinkedIn lunatic, or at least he is allegedly, or he is charged to be a LinkedIn lunatic because he just got charged with two counts of fourth degree assault in Seattle and is under investigation for felony rape of a drug victim in Palm Springs. So that's terrible. Um, that is terrible. So I, I, I think it's kind of interesting to read the article, so I'm not gonna make you read it with me. But I stole this art, I, I took this article from KUOW.org. Uh, I guess it's a local news agency in, let's find out where it is. It, it KUOW, it's NPR, local. Um, and the story was by Ashley Haruko. And so, yeah, he went famous for lowering his salary to 70K, and he was accused of trigger warning. Uh, should I, I'll, pl I'll apply a trigger warning on the title of this video. Uh, is accused of grabbing a woman's throat twice after he tried to kiss her and she rejected his advances. Yeah, not cool, man. Um, he has three misdemeanor charges, assault with sexual motivation, assault, and reckless driving. And yeah, he uh, he went viral for lowering his one million dollar salary to seventy thousand. Um, if you're the CEO of a company, maybe your salary is lower, but maybe you have other ways of uh, taking money out. Um, okay, through his attorney, he says the allegations are false, but I believe that he was charged. So, anyways. Um, he goes on to say, they go on to say that he respects the legal process and cut, it is confident that he will be vindicated in court, says his lawyer by the la name of Mark Middaw. Um, very detailed, very detailed, very detailed explanations of the timeline. And uh, other back line, back, background is that in 2015, uh, his ex-wife was going to have a TEDx talk at the University of Kentucky, and she alleged that he punched, slap, punched, slapped, and waterboarded her. So, and they didn't publish that because his uh, attorneys said that the footage was defamatory. So, history of being a lunatic, allegedly, and allegedly is a very bad person, so. Those are this week in LinkedIn Lunatics. I'll post the links to the stories in the description below so that, that way you can read them. Because uh, I, I remember this story going viral and being pretty happy about it, but very unfortunate, very, very, very unfortunate outcome for this LinkedIn Lunatic. All right. So let's get in, let's take a quick break for ads. And then we'll come right back with our first viewer question. Thanks for watching this segment of the Engineering Success Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All those things really help me out. They boost me up in the YouTube algorithm and they'll help other people see this great content. I'm not complaining. My thoughts get complicated. I cannot explain in layman's. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries. Thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather think Spotify. They put me on the station.